David. Congratulations. Thank you. Did your dad enjoy wearing your medal as much as you did? Yeah, I thought that he was the first one I should get it, get it round his neck. He's uh, he's probably watched uh, a lot of things over the years and not had that moment. So I hope he's enjoying it, and I hope he can enjoy it with me later on tonight as well. Next question, please. David Hill. David Hill started 18th of August, 293 days ago. Denmark in the north, uh, Bucharest in the east, Cyprus in the south. It's been a long journey to get onto that winner's podium, hasn't it? What do you think it means to the yeah. club and to all the travelling support who have literally been over land and sea no. on all of those trips? It's, it, I, I actually think the last two years in European football for West Ham has been an incredible journey. You know, last year we won the group, got to semi-final. This year we've won the group, gone unbeaten, now won, won a final. So it's been a it's been an incredible sort of achievement really to do so well in Europe. You know, the teams get there and it's very difficult. You look at some some of the very good teams who, you know, find it a struggle to play the Premier League and do the games in Europe. So great credit. Uh you know, we've turned which we felt was a disappointing season into a super season. And I have to say that the players the players have done remarkably well throughout. Uh, I think to play in the Premier League and to play in European football, especially in the Europe European Europe Euro League or, or the Conference League, has always been a difficult, difficult situation. But you know, we've we've managed to get through both this year. Uh, maybe not as well as we'd like, but this competition's been, been terrific. Next question there, please. And Jared Bowen just arrived. Congratulations. Thank you. For you. Hi, David. Um, there was a moment when um, Jared scored that you ran down the touchline. You're yelling at the... Can you try and sum up what was going through your mind then? And also on the pitch, you had a few moments when you just stood kind of by yourself, silently just thinking, yeah. what, what was going through your mind then. And also, I said uh, yesterday that you would be a legend at West Ham if you mm -hmm. won this. Yeah, you are now. Do you do you feel that now? Uh, no, I don't. I don't really like the word, but I'll I'll answer some of your questions, and then maybe I'll, if I forget any more, you can ask me again. The minute Jared went through, I was edging down the touchline. If there was MD, I thought was going to score, it would be Jared. The minute he got through, I thought this is the moment. This is the one, Jared will, Jared will do it. And I was probably halfway down the line, but I couldn't do a full Mourinho because uh, because I can't slide my knees and the grass was a bit dry, so I was worried that I was uh, that I was going to go in my belly. So uh, I just ran down and but I was speaking to Jared about it and when he got through, first thing I was thinking, he's not going to give offside, is he? Is there any chance it's offside? But then the next bit was... Uh, the ball, Jared says, seemed to take an age to go into the net. The goalie got a little bit on it and it took a little bit of time to go in. But to score for us in well, probably the last minute of the game, just about, and then uh, it, it gave us a real a real chance to hang on to it uh, in the last bit of the game. Next question, front row on the left. Don't know if I answered your question there, but that was it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, David, congratulations. Thank you. Um, two, two things. First of all, in terms of winning this and where the club moves forward from here now, how it moves forward, how it it builds on this. And also, sadly, there was an incident in the first half involving one of their players getting cut from something thrown from the crowd. What what's your reaction to that? Well, I don't want the I don't want the last part of the question here to, to, to spoil it. I'm sure the club will, will issue a statement on that uh, at the right time. But I think that the the progress West Ham have made in two or three years, and the only way I can look back at it and say if I'd, if I'd asked any of you the question and said, by the way, West Ham will win a European trophy, they'll finish sixth one year, they'll finish seventh the next year, uh, they'll get to a semi-final, I would have thought most people would have said, he's lost his marbles. You know, I think they'd have said, not at all. But I've been really fortunate that I've got a great group of players. I've had a club who have incredibly supported me when at times, you know, it could have been different. Uh, and I think this would also be a really good moment to mention, so that just that I do this and I don't forget, is that, that we mentioned the Gold family, who, you know, David Gold can't be here. 
obviously Jackal, we lost Jacqueline as well. So I, I might be talking, but the boys, the, the sort of the, the British reporters will know what I'm talking about. So I think it's really important that we remember uh, David Gold here as well, because this would have been incredibly special for him as well. Thank you very much. A couple for Jared as well, if we can. Please. Yeah, David Moyes. Thank you. Good. Nice to see you. Yeah. yeah. Looks like you're in the clear, boss. <laughs> see you in the um, See you there. I'll see you there. <laughs> Give me an hour. I've got <laughs> drug testing. And next question for uh, Jared, please. Jared, Jared, can you can you sum up your emotions as you sit there with a medal and what were you what were you thinking when you when you went through? How did you keep your composure? I can't sum up. It's just the best feeling I've ever had in my career. The best moment. Um, and when I went through it, I had a lot of time. Um, and then it was just put, put the ball away, make sure you put the ball away. And, um, the keeper started to rush out of his goal. And I thought that's my moment to, to strike the ball because he couldn't then set himself. Um, and I don't know if I fell over, but then I looked up and the ball was just going in and I was like, no, this, this has not happened. Like I've been speaking all week to my family saying, you know, imagine, imagine a last minute goal in the European final to win it. Like it's, it's dream. I think I spoke about the press comment saying I'd love to score a goal, um, but to score a winner in the last minute um, to to bring this trophy to to this club is the best the best moment of my career. Jared, I just wanted to ask sort of about the last few years of, of your journey. Obviously, you've been at West Ham for a few years now, but before that, you know, it was Hereford and Hull. You know, um, you kind of touched on it yesterday, but when you look back at those times, you know, does it feel Incredibly sort of surreal to think this is where you are now. Yeah, and... it's so surreal. And when I first signed for West Ham, if you told me that we'd get to a semi-final, we'd be in the top top seven two years in a row and I'd score a winner in the European final, I would have been like, nah, this this guy's taking the mick out of me. But now now we've done it. And I think that's that's the main thing. It's not I don't want to use relief as a word, but we knew how close we were. Um with the disappointment of Frankfurt last year. Um and I think the fans, how much it means to them. We've seen, uh, well, I've seen on Instagram them travelling out and the numbers that they came in, the the noise that they made. And to do it for, of course, I'm I'm proud to do it for my teammates, the coaching staff, uh, but I think for the fans as well. Like, to, you see them, you see them after the game, what what, what it means. And on, like I said, I, I'm a bit stuck for words. Um, usually I'm all right at answering questions, but now I'm a bit, I'm a bit, stuck for words it's the best the best feeling of my life I never thought in my wildest dreams as a young boy growing up that I'd win a European trophy um, so to do it is I keep saying it's the best thing in the, it's the best feeling in the world so that's that's all I can say about it any more question there please Thank you. So congratulations, Jared. And I want to ask you, like, did you speak to the Czech guys? It was very special night for them. And how happy are you for them that you scored the winning goal at their home stadium, basically? Yeah, for, for them them boys as well. I think they took about 100 of the tickets before before the game. They took all our allocation as players' tickets. But for them as well, it was everything was set up to do it for us to win it. You know, the, the two Czech boys coming, coming home and the weight that we had for a European trophy. But you've got, to, you've got to go through the process for that to happen, to win the game. Um, and we struggled um, in the game a lot, I thought. But, you know, no one's going to be talking. If anyone's talking about the game, then I'm not listening because we won we won the trophy. So that was that was the main thing. And, yeah, for, for Thomas and Vladdy, I'm so happy for them. And you see them, how much it means to them and, and everyone. And everyone associated with this football club, it's probably the highest this football club has been in a very long time. Next question, please. Hi, Jared. Um, can you give any inkling of what you're going to be doing um, tonight and also how much are you looking forward to the parade tomorrow? Mate, I'm so buzzing, mate. I'm, oh, I cannot tell you how happy I am to... All of us, we're just going to... Just going to go mad, I think. I'm not going to put any filter on it. I'm not going to give a, a responsible answer because... These moments don't come around often in in your career, and that was the first final I've I think I've ever played in. Um, so to to win it is you have to celebrate, and we celebrated after after Altmar in the changing room. You've seen the videos, but you know it's it's one thing celebrating, it's another thing backing it up and winning, actually winning the whole thing. Um, so 
when that final whistle went, I was just thinking, yes, like th this party tonight is going to be, it's going to be crazy. So we'll go and see our family. Our family are all here. Um, so I'm, you know, excited to see, to see my family and celebrate with them because like I just answered, I'm, you know, a little boy from, from Lempster who was never thought that I'd, I'd be here talking to you like this now. So I'm going to celebrate with my old man, my brother, um, because they was, they was in tears. I actually haven't cried yet, which is, you know, surprised. I thought I'd just be crying, but they was, they was in tears and just goes to show how much, how much it means and how far I think I've come. Next question in the third row, please. Jared, you mentioned your um, your upbringing in sort of Herefordshire just there. There's a picture I've I've just seen on Twitter of you as a young lad. I don't think I looking want to see like that. The, looking like the, the Milky Bar kid. The Milky Bar kid. <laughs> Is that you? Um, probably. I haven't. I don't have Twitter, so I haven't seen it. But um, I've, maybe the word blossom comes to mind as a <laughs> growing up. Um, but yeah, it's probably. I remember seeing one. Um, when I signed for West Ham and it was I think it was the trend of how it started and how it's going and there was a picture of me and I sent it to Billy McKinley the coach he loves it he, that's his favorite picture he looks at that and he says he smiles every every day um, but yeah that that is it's not a very good um, picture um, I don't know I don't know which one it is but there's one where I'm sat stood on like the the turnstiles at Hereford um, Put my arms out, giving it massive, and I'm about ten years old. Um, but yeah, I've got the got the glasses, and but you look at the you look at those pictures, and my family today was putting things uh, on social media of good luck um, and just pictures of where I've come from. Um, and sometimes you have to like now I can pinch myself and say, look how far you've you've come. Without I don't want to sit here and you know big myself up, but. I want to sit here and just just be proud of what what I've done. Um, I would never, like I said, in my wildest dreams, thought when I was a little boy that I'd have four caps for for my country. I'd be playing in the Premier League week in week out, and I'd have a European winners medal to my name. Um, but yeah, I, I I love it here, and this club's given me the opportunity to to play for my country, to represent this club in the in the Premier League, and to win a trophy. So I've got to give massive credit to everyone associated with this club who who brought me here <laughs> yeah um if i can find a shop that's selling milky bar kids uh i'll be uh, i'll have my little bag full of full of milky bar kids and singing the song one last question no so thanks a lot and congratulations again for this uh, trophy and thank you very much for your presence today thanks.